Hello Taurus and welcome to this little corner of the internet that is Wild Fox Alchemy. If we haven't met before, my name is Maria Guyon. I'm an intuitive business success coach and tarot card reader and I would like to welcome you to this reading for October 2021. Grab a cup of tea, pull up a chair and let's have a chat about what's coming up for you in October. We have Canary Spirit here on this money spread. Sing your own song. Mm -hmm. We have the Four of Crystals, Control and Security. We have the Queen of Crystals, Comfort and Prosperity, a great card to have on your money spread. We have the Hanged Man, Patience and Perspective. We have the High Priestess, Intuition and Sacred Knowledge. This is your money spread and your business spread is yes, just say yes. Seven of Acorns, Determination and Stamina. Two of Shells, Union and Harmony. The Ten of Shells, Blessings and Well-Being. And we end with the King of Feathers, Logic and Justice. There's some great cards here for you, Taurus. So let's start. We've got Sing Your Own Song. And this is in your money spread. Okay. Now, I'm being guided to tell you that this is about you being yourself and you doing things your way. There are a lot of coaches, a lot of gurus and guides out there, and they are all selling their way of doing things. They will tell you their step-by-step -step guide to how they built their email list business, coaching business, therapy business, whatever. But you are not them, and they are not you. You need to be open to doing things your way. Another thing that keeps coming up in a lot of these readings is where you may have been taught to do a certain thing. You may have gone on a course, you may have been qualified in something, done a degree, whatever, in a specific subject. And you feel like you are obliged to be a clone of whoever it was that taught you. And I've experienced this. I talk about this quite often. I experienced a particular therapy that I found transformational and it worked really well for me. It helped me to get over depression and anxiety. And so I decided that because it had been so phenomenal that I would train to practice that therapy. And I paid a lot of money <laughs> to do it. When I got into that therapy, I realized that there were a lot of things that could benefit and expand that therapy and make it even better. But the person teaching the therapy was very clear that she didn't want to dilute her method with other things. So you couldn't do her method and Reiki, for example. You couldn't do her method and then use essential oils and aromatherapy. You couldn't do her method and then practice reflexology. You, you just She wanted you just to do her thing. Now, it was her intellectual property, insofar as the kind of therapy that she was doing could be hers. It was based on a lot of other therapies. You know, it, it was up to her to choose how she wanted it to be done. But what I felt was that she was training clones. Everybody is going out there and doing the same thing over and over and over. And there's no individuality. There's no changing it to fit you and what suits. So I actually broke ties. I did the training. I paid the money. And then I thought, no, I don't really want to continue as part of this therapy. So I broke ties with the organization. And I now do things my way because my way is very spiritual. It's very deep. It's very intuitive. And it didn't fit with with that particular style of, of therapy. And what this card is saying to you is that it's OK for you to do the same thing. You can bring elements of who you are into whatever it is that you do. I'll repeat again that it comes with the proviso of first do no harm, because, you know, you don't want to be bringing things in that are irresponsible or that undermine the work that you do or that could be dangerous. You know, if you omit something that you're not comfortable with, but it turns out that that thing is important, that's not the right way to go about it. But there are things, make whatever it is that you do your own, because it'll make you stand out. It'll make your work more powerful. You will believe in it more, and other people, as a result, will believe in it more. I hope that resonates. If it does, give me a big fat yes in the comments, because I feel like it's time for you to be confident enough. You know, I think when we first qualify in something, we're not very confident, are we? We're, you know, the first few clients or whatever, we're a bit, we're a bit shaky and a bit scared and we're a bit worried about what might happen. And we don't really feel confident enough to start bringing in our own ideas and our own things. I think it takes time to get to that point and a bit of experience to get to that point. But don't hold off on it forever. You know, you can do this. You can do this. It leads into the four of crystals. And we've got 
two lots of crystal energy here, which is great because this is your finance part of the reading. The four of crystals is about budgeting, organising, taking control and feeling secure. And that's vitally important, isn't it? In, in business, this is how we all want to feel. We want to feel that we've got the freedom to, to take care of ourselves, take care of our family. You know, this is what you need to be focusing on. You need to be focusing on taking control of your finances, on organising your finances, on budgeting. I have just got the message in my head about reassess your possessions. Are there some things that you could let go of that would help you move forward, that would help you realise some cash? If you need cash at the moment, it could be that you have something that you could sell to make the money. I don't know what that may not resonate for everybody, but there's somebody there's there's people that have things of value that other people would value more than you do. Let them have it and realize some money and you can either reinvest that in your business or you can put it aside as savings or you can get yourself out of a hole with it. What your strengths are. We've got the queen of crystals. And she is such a fantastic card to have in a finance spread. She is very calm. She's very grounded. She is prosperous. She's nurturing. She is a mom that contributes to the family. That's the energy of her. She's very sort of protective. She's got these lovely spines there, the hedgehog. She's very protective of herself and her family and of what she does. And I feel like this is indicative of you. And this is your strength, your positive outlook. You're not out here to make money to show off, are you, Taurus? I don't feel that at all. I feel like you're here because you want to create prosperity and comfort for you and your family. And that is a great motivator for going out and making money, isn't it? We move into the hanged man. He's about taking a step back. He's about patience, letting go of a few things and taking a pause. He's in your position of possible obstacles, which I feel goes one of two ways. Either you're taking too many steps back and you're pausing and missing out on opportunities that would bring you prosperity. Or you're not taking the time to put things into perspective and you are being impatient about moving forward. Everything is coming to you. The universe will provide. Have faith. Don't panic about time running out. Time is not running out. You can just pause and take a step back. But like I said, don't let it turn into an obstacle where you pause all the time, where you're constantly in a state of just paralysis, thinking, what shall I do next? What do I do? I'll just wait for a sign. You have to take action. You want the money, you want the, the prosperity, you want this comfort for yourself and your family, you are going to have to take some action. But don't rush into things. Don't rush into things, but at the same time, don't hold yourself back and never take up any opportunities. The outcome is the High Priestess. She is all about the Divine Feminine, sacred knowledge. She's all about trusting your gut and following your intuition. And I think that's key. I think we started with this Sing Your Own Song and I think we end with this High Priestess who is telling you to sing your own song and trust your own intuition on what to do next. It, following this hanged man, I feel where it's about taking a step back and putting things in a new perspective and maybe letting things go. She is kind of telling you to do that intuitively. You know, don't just do what you're told. I do get this feeling that you, you've been used to doing what other people have told you. And that's not, you know, I feel like that's teachers. Teachers tell you what to do. Coaches let you find out for your own self what you should be doing. They, they teach you to trust in your own intuition as to what you need to be doing. And I do feel like you've tried to follow the rules, is what I've been told. You've been trying to follow the rules, but the rules don't necessarily fit with you. And you need to follow your intuition. Okay. I do feel that that's vitally important for you and your finances. I do feel like it's definitely a key that if you sing your own song and do you do you, that's where the prosperity will come in for you. Because I feel like you're going to stand out from all the rest of the so-so the people. Does that make sense? I got the nine of pentacles there for you, which is security, abundance, self-sufficiency, independence, 
comfort and luxury. That is your outcome for your finances for this month, Taurus, in October. It's actually a really positive reading. I don't feel like it's oodles of cash coming in. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't feel like it's oodles of cash. But I do feel like if you follow this path of putting yourself into your business, more of yourself, if you take control of your budget and you plan out what you're doing and you're careful about what you have, that eventually it's going to pay off. It will pay off. So now into your business reading, we've got just say yes. And this card is basically saying to you, whatever opportunities come your way, say yes to them. Just do them. Just do them. As long as it's not going to harm anybody, as long as it's not going to cause a disaster, and don't overthink, if it's something positive, if it takes you towards your goal, in fact, sometimes things don't feel like they'll take you towards your goal. It's a, a weird thing. I will tell you a little story about myself. <laughs> Another one. To give you an example, I was recently approached, in fact, my daughter was recently approached by somebody to teach English to kids at a summer camp. And we live in Spain, so these are Spanish children. And they're desperate to learn English. And so... Because we're friends of a friend of a friend, they asked my daughter if she would be interested in coming and doing this summer camp and teaching English, speaking native English to these Spanish children. And my daughter just did not have the time. She's busy. She's an artist. She's got so many commissions to do. And it just wasn't for her. And so they said, well, do you know any of anybody else? And she said, yeah, my mum might be interested. They offered me an interview. And initially my first thought was no. <laughs> No, because I knew that the interview would be totally in Spanish. And whilst I do speak some Spanish, sometimes my fluency is, is lacking a little and sometimes I struggle. And I thought, oh, I, I can't do this. There's no way I can, I can sit through a job interview in full Spanish. I'm going to panic. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to do the job and it's, you know, it's, it's going to be terrifying. And maybe it's not for me and it doesn't fit with my business. What has teaching children English got to do with being a business coach? What's it got to do with anything? But I said yes to it. And I went and I did the interview. And it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yes, it was in Spanish and, and it put me through my paces. But I answered everything. I understood everything. And the things I didn't understand, I just asked her to explain a bit slower or explain it because I didn't understand. And we got through the interview. And at the end of the interview, she said, the job is yours. So then we had new panic. What am I going to do? I don't know what to do. I don't really, I haven't taught young children anything other than to ride, <laughs> to ride horses. And that's a long time ago. So can I actually do this? And I thought, yeah, I'm just going to turn up and I'm going to go and I'm going to do it. And I was scared, but I went and I did it. Now, it isn't necessarily something that moves my business forward in the way that you might think. But in actual fact, it does move my business forward. Mm -hmm. Teaching those children gave me a lot of confidence. It has improved my Spanish, which means that I'm going to be able to open my coaching business up to the Spanish market soon. It means that I'm making connections with the parents of the children. It means that it, I get out of the house and do something different and I feel like I'm doing something useful. I fell in love with the children. They were just fabulous. I love the job. And when the owner of the, the school said to me, do you want to come back in September and do more? What did I say? I said yes. I said yes. This is what this is all about. Say yes. Don't think too hard about it. Don't overthink. I started to overthink and I was thinking of all the reasons I should say no. And then I thought, no, this is silly. My intuition said to me, just do it because it's going to be a benefit to you down the line. You're going to feel good about yourself. And so that's what I did. And I'm advising you and spirit is advising you to just say yes even though it might feel a little bit left field you never know who you might meet you never know what opportunities might come up right so where you need to focus your energy <laughs> is the seven of acorns and this is about you having determination and stamina now this card isn't always very positive it can be about people criticizing it can be about people feeling envious of you and what you have and trying sometimes to drag you down. There's a bit of this tall poppy syndrome thing going on. There could be critics. There could be people that are not happy with what you're doing. 
particularly if you've gone down the route of singing your own song. Does that make sense? And to clarify that, I've got the Ten of Swords, which is about betrayal. Painful. Something painful. You, people being stabbed in the back. You need to be prepared. Be prepared for, you know, Spirit is saying that this is, is it's an interesting thing. Singing your own song will bring you the abundance that you seek. But it's a double-edged sword, pardon the pun. Because it can also bring out people that are less than positive. And those people can sometimes be in your family, they can be in your friendship circle, they can be people you've never met. And they are going to be there trying to undermine you. And you could feel very stabbed in the back. For every ten positive people, you might get another two nasty people who don't agree with the way that you're doing things. All right? But we get the star card there, which is about peace and healing, hope, renewal, optimism. That's what you need to focus your energy on. Not these people. Do not focus your energy on these people. Just be determined to move forward. To bring peace and healing to the planet. And to your own self through whatever it is that you're doing. Okay? Now your strengths are that you can bring peace and harmony to people. It's the two of cups there. You can make people see eye to eye with you. This is where you need to, to focus on those sorts of people. People with whom you have that strong emotional connection. I feel like there are some people that you will change the mind of, actually. So just watch out for that, that it could be that by having a peaceful, calm discussion with them about what it is that you do, that you can make them see eye to eye with you. There are some people that you won't make see eye to eye with you. Not at all. But what I got there again was set boundaries, the emperor there. He is all about boundaries. He's all about what's right and wrong. He sets the rules. Set your own rules. All right. Set your own rules. This is where I think that you need to focus. You need to focus on the people that are your people because they are out there. They are out there for you. And to clarify that, I've got the five of pentacles. And this is about your mindset, which, again, I feel like it's telling you here, focus on this, on the people that actually do see eye to eye with you, because there are people who are going to resonate with you singing your own song. Singing your own song will narrow down the amount of people that will be drawn to you, and that is not a bad thing, okay? If you try to serve everybody, you serve no one. By niching down and singing your own song and doing things your way, you will attract the kind of people that agree with that. You will attract some of these nutters that don't agree and that are very vocal about it and that um, are not very polite to you about it and that may stab you in the back. They're not the people to focus on. You have a choice here now with this five of pentacles of whether you have the mindset of abundance or loss, whether you have the mindset of I feel isolated and stressed and worried about what these people are saying and doing, or you can have the mindset of positivity, of never giving up, of feeling positive about what it is that you're doing and knowing that you are reaching the people that actually matter, the people that you do see eye to eye with. Obstacles. We've got the ten of shells there. This is about completion of emotions and bliss. It can be ending old stuff and starting new stuff. This is really about your emotional happiness. This could be you feeling blocked now. This is a blockage here. You not allowing your blessings to come in, not having the new start, not ending the old stuff, focusing too much on these people and thinking that maybe you have to change back to the way that you were before you started singing your old song in order to please these people. Ah, 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 Spirit says no. Spirit says categorically, do not do that. Do not do that. Don't block your blessings, your new start. Don't block this happiness that is coming into you by giving in to people that don't like this new way of doing things. Because that is not the way to move forward. You want this. You want these blessings and abundance and to be, you know, secure. Then don't give in to these people. Set your boundaries. Ignore them. And focus on these people. The people that do care about what you want to offer them. So don't block it. Please don't block it. We end on the King of Feathers. He's about logic and justice, decisions, making rules, setting boundaries. He's very fair. 
he can be indicative of an authority figure. But in this particular reading, it's not somebody else. It's not somebody else that is an authority figure. This is you becoming an authority figure, being a leader, being somebody that is looked up to because you sing your own song. You will be seen as an authority in what you're doing because you choose to do things differently. And I decided to clarify that card. We got the sun. Freedom, success, vitality and joy, achievement. It couldn't end on a better note, this reading, Taurus. I love it. I wish it were mine. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm not, not necessarily jealous of the people that are going to push back against you because of you singing your own song. There will be people that will do that. You know, when I decided to ditch the therapy that I'd been taught in order to make my own journey, including shamanism, spirituality, crystal healing, all the, the weird and wacky woo-woo things that I use to help people to banish blocks to their business success and manifest the kind of business that lights up the world and changes lives, it was scary. And I dare say that there would be people that would say, oh, why did you do that? What did you do that for? Why couldn't you just follow the plan and stick with it? But that's not who I am, and I don't feel that it's who you are either. So you are going to attract people that disagree with how you do things, and some of them will be very vocal about it, I'm sure. But you're being told to focus your mindset not on the negatives, but on the positives, of, and focus on the people that you do see eye to eye with. And the end here is that an amazing business is going to come out of it. You're going to be seen as an authority. The more you write about what you do, the more you demonstrate what you do, the more you show people how it transforms lives. It's just going to be phenomenal. So I'm going to leave that there on this positive note. Like I said, I'm quite jealous. I wish it were my reading. <laughs> Have a great October, Taurus. Let me know in the comments below how you can sing your own song. What is it that you do that is different than everybody else? What are you an authority in? Or what would you like to be an authority in? How would you like to be different? Let me know. And don't forget, say yes to every opportunity because you never know. It could be an opportunity for growth and it could take you forward in ways that you have not imagined. So, with love and magic always, this is Maria Guyne signing out. See you next time, Taurus. Mm -hmm.